Once the PC has a fresh installation of Windows, we need to edit some of the default settings provided. We will follow along with the Windows Notes PDF to complete this. The first step is to just observe the task manager to see what processes are currently running and how the computer is handling them. To access the task manager, right click on the taskbar, then left click the task manager option. Here is the task manager, currently displaying processes. Performance will show us our usage. Back on processes, we see that what I have here is not a clean installation of Windows. A clean installations processes tab will look like this. And this is our ideal setup. Continuing on to the user account control setting, open the start menu or press the Windows key on the keyboard and then type UAC or user account control. Left click to open the control panel item for UAC and we will get this box dialog. Drag the slider down to the Never Notify setting and then click OK, confirming any prompts you get after. Back to the Start menu to change the Power Options, type in Power and left click on the Power Options item from the control panel. Change the plan settings to never change each of these power states, then click Change Advanced Power Settings. The settings we want to go through and change are the turn off hard disk setting set to never or 9999. The sleep setting set to never. Allow hybrid sleep set to disabled. Hibernate set to never and USB selective suspend settings disabled. Click OK and then save your changes. Continuing on to the Windows updates. On Windows 10, the option to disable updates and set to never notify has been removed. If using another Windows version, set the Windows update settings like this shows here. Otherwise, we will want to enable airplane mode to get around the Windows 10 issue. A final note on this PC is that it should not have other software installed. Software packages like vCarve are fine to load and run while ShopBot 3 and Cut Files are not being run. We should note that absolutely no antivirus should be installed other than the default Windows Defender package. Since this PC will not connect to the internet, this choice should cause no problems.